Our guy who's going to join us here on the hotline is Reed Sorensen. He is now the points leader in the NASCAR Nationwide Series. Welcome back to the show. That's got to feel pretty good to have that uh, that uh, distinction attached to your name these days, right? Yeah, it feels good. Hopefully we can keep it that way. <laughs> That's the challenge, isn't it, uh, when you're looking back in the uh, rearview mirror. And here's Sadler, who looked like he was in position to win Saturday night, two back. Uh, Stenhouse is, what, uh, six back. And then your teammate Allgaier, who wins Saturday night, is 11 back. So the four of you, at least at this stage of the game, you're about a third through the season, uh, you, you, it can't be just one guy that you're thinking about. You've got a bunch of them there you've got to worry about every week. Yeah, it's a it's a pretty tight battle, and uh, it'll probably stay that way, I think, for the rest of the year. So, uh, you know, every every point matters, and um, you know we got to make sure we don't make any mistakes because, like I said, I think it'll stay pretty close probably all the way to the end of the season. Hey, Reed, when we uh, we look at what you guys are doing, and once again, uh, this points thing, it's consistency, consistency. Uh, you guys are right around fifth place each and every week. Sometimes you're a little ahead of fifth. Sometimes you're a little behind fifth. But that consistent run every week, that's the reason that you're, you're leading this thing right now. How hard do you work on those cars and, and the guys work on those cars to make sure that, that when you get to the racetrack, you don't have to worry about pieces falling off of them? Well, it's very important, uh, you know, with the way the point system is and everything, and uh, especially with us since we don't have any chase, you know, chase-type format. Uh, you know, every point we earn right now is going to mean something at the end of the season. So we, uh, you know, we've had really good, uh, really good cars all year and we've, we've been pretty fortunate not to have anything fall off of them. And, uh, the only DNF we had this year was when we had a motor break on us. So, uh, you know, and that hurt us cause we were, we were actually leading the points going into that race and it took us all the way to right now to get back there. So, uh, we definitely realized how important it is to, to not get DNF and, um, you know, we, we try each and every week to make sure we don't do that. Yeah, it's it's one of those things that can really kill your chances as you go along here. Uh, off week for you guys this week. No nationwide racing this week coming up. Uh, that's not unusual. This is the, the time of the year when that has happened over the over the past couple of seasons. For you as a driver, though, uh, when you're leading the points, you probably want to keep going. This is probably uh, one of those weeks you just as soon be getting to the racetrack, right? Yeah, I mean, the, the past uh, four, you know, four weeks for us have been pretty good. And um, yeah, we like to keep going. <laughs> It'd be nice, but all the guys on the on the team uh, enjoy getting a little time off and uh, getting to getting to breathe for a second, relax, and kind of lets everybody regroup on their cars and and uh, you know getting cars built back up to where you want them and things like that. So on one on one side of it, we'd like to keep going just because we have a little bit of momentum on our side. Uh, but at the same time, it is nice for for all the guys that work on these cars to to get a weekend off and. Um, you know, see their families and relax a little bit. Hey, Reed, when we talk about that race team, this week was a great example. Uh, you got one in victory circle, and you got the rest of them right there, top ten. You guys, uh, that race team, you've got to, and I love to talk about this. I love to talk about the guys that are in those race shops, uh, the guys that we don't see on TV, the guys and gals that, that work their tail off. Uh, you can, that's got to be a good place to go to work with, with great finishes. Uh, they got to be a lot of smiles on a lot of faces over there. Oh, for sure. And, uh, you know, they've been that way the whole year because they, I think they, you know, everybody understands what our goals are. And our goal is to win the championship and, and win races along the way to that. So, uh, you know, anytime you run good each and every weekend, that definitely puts a little pep in everybody's step and, uh, you know, gets them excited about going to the racetrack the next weekend. So, um, you know, the past, like I said, the past month has been really good for our team and, and uh, just to have momentum on our side and, and have good finishes every weekend uh, just, just kind of inspires everybody to keep working hard and, um, you know, knowing that we got a good shot to win this championship. Yeah, you, you've got a great chance. There's no question about it. Reed Sorensen with us on the hotline, as he is every week at this time, currently the championship leader in the NASCAR Nationwide Series after Saturday night's SDP 300 at Chicagoland Speedway. Uh, now, we heard from... Uh, Jimmy uh, Jimmy Ellidge yesterday, who was the crew chief for uh, Saturday night's race winner, your teammate Justin Allgaier, he said you guys were at, uh, at uh, Milwaukee at the mile doing some testing, but the weather was bad, and you were there, I guess, as part of that. Was that a one-day thing? Are you still up there? What's going on? Yeah, it was a one-day thing, and, uh, you know, we looked at uh, – we, we rained out in the morning. I think we started about 12 o'clock. We finally got on the track. But uh, I think the only piece of rain that was in the whole northern United States was right <laughs> on top of the racetrack. So – we got a little bit unlucky there. It was just a quick storm that came through and, and, and slowed us down and 
uh, we were still able to get a half a day in and because uh, they make you quit at five out there. So we got a little bit of track time, uh, not as much as we wanted to. So we'll uh, we'll probably look at testing again somewhere. But uh, we learned a little bit out there. So we'll uh, take that and, and try to go test again. Yeah, Reed, right. you've got uh, you've got a, a weekend off. Then you guys are headed to Michigan, uh, and then you leave Michigan and, and you headed to that road course, Road America. This next couple of weeks after you come back, uh, you've got a lot of different things. You got Michigan, you've got the the road course, you've got Daytona. Uh, talk a little bit about those things, especially Michigan. The next place you go to, that's a pretty daggone fast flat racetrack up there. That some people love it, and some people just don't like to get around there too much. Yeah, it's a, it's definitely a different racetrack, and uh, you know we ran this car, this new car here there last year. That was one of the places we ran it. So uh, you know we do have a little bit of a notebook from last year, and I think I believe we finished seventh or somewhere around there last year, and, and feel like we should be a little bit better this year. So we'll see. But uh, yeah, the schedule's kind of weird, you know, going there and then going to a road course and then going to uh, Daytona where we'll be the you know doing the two car drafting again. So definitely a, a big variety, and I think. To get through the, the next three races um, with solid finishes, I think, is a pretty big deal, uh, you know, especially going to the road course. Uh, you know, a lot of things can happen there. So uh, if we can get through the next three, you know, three races there and, and uh, you know, get solid finishes, uh, we'll be pretty happy with that. Yeah, you, you've got to be. And at this point, uh, you know, Chuck was mentioning how, uh, you know, with this point structure, we've, we've got this situation where a lot of us had thought, uh, one or two bad races could certainly take you out of it, and I think in the Cup Series we've seen some of that. Uh, and and in the Nationwide Series now, there are four of you who've kind of separated yourselves. The fifth in points is is back about forty out of the lead, but the top four grouped or, uh, among eleven points, just eleven points separating you at this stage of the game. Do you expect it to be a tight fight all the way down the line with several guys, or or do you think you and and maybe uh, one other, maybe you and Sadler, end up separating yourselves from the pack and kind of settling this thing as we go along? No, I mean, I, I think it would be pretty tight. Uh, yeah, you know, and I think there's still room for, for everybody to have a bad race. Um, you know, everybody had a bad race coming up to this point to, to make it even as it is. So, uh, you know, Elliot's been running good. Um, Ricky Stenhouse is running great. The, you know, the Roush, Roush cars have been really fast everywhere we go, especially the big tracks. So, uh, they're you know, they're definitely a threat big time. And, and then myself and Justin are – or you know, right there in the top uh, top four, right there together, and and Jason Leffler's been running good too. He's just had a little bit of bad luck, so I think it'll stay tight. Um, it'll probably be you know flip flopping all the way down to the end, and uh, I don't think you'll really see anybody uh, take a huge lead at any point in time. I think it'll be a pretty close battle, uh, you know, probably all the way down to the end. But we do have a lot of racing left, and you know, the middle part of the season is usually the toughest part to get through, and uh, you know, whoever can be the most consistent through that part will, will have an advantage for sure. Hey, Reed, one more for me here. And I was just looking at this schedule. And, and once again, we talk about Michigan, then Road America. Uh, that's up in the same neck of the woods. When you guys head up to Michigan with, with your big transporter, and this might be a question for the crew chief, don't know if you can help me or not, uh, will that truck stay up there? And, and, and will you guys just shuttle, shuffle cars back and forth? You know, I don't know. Uh, Obviously, the cars are way different from what yep. we take to Michigan to what we'll take to Road America. Uh, I guess it depends if they feel like, you know, making a truck driver's job <laughs> back down. But, you know, sometimes they bring them back and switch them out, and it's easier for them to do that. Uh, you know, especially with us because we have, you know, four cars at the racetrack every weekend, and uh, it's a little bit hard to take four, you know, new cars up there to switch out. So I'm not too sure what they'll do, but uh, – you know, our truck drivers do a great job getting up and down the road, so they don't mind driving if they have to. All right, there you go. Get, this is one of those weeks where the truck guys racing in Texas. You going to go down there and support them, or are you going to just watch from home? I think I'm going to watch from home. I uh, I enjoy being a little bit lazy during the weekend. <laughs> so I'll, uh, yeah, our trucks should have a great shot at winning. Uh, they've been really fast, and uh, you know, James James Bush has been really fast. He was really good at Charlotte, so. Uh, I don't know if any Cub guys are going there, but uh, I would expect that, that our truck guys have a really good shot at winning this weekend. Yeah, you'd think so. I mean, uh, looking at the entry list there, uh, David Mayhew, West Coast guy, a K&N West uh, standout, is going to run the KHI 2 truck, and, and that's uh, pretty much it. Uh, you know, other other than that, you've got Quapple, who's a regular in the, on that side, who's going to pass on Pocono 
and uh, run down there. So, yeah, I think this is going to be a truck series guy. Uh, Brian Eichler is going to drive the 18, so I think this is going to be a, a truck series regulars event on Friday night, no doubt about it. All right, uh, congratulations on grabbing the points lead after Chicago land. Enjoy the uh, weekend off from racing, and we'll uh, talk to you next week to get us uh, all set for Michigan the following uh, weekend, all right? All right, sounds good. Thanks for having me on. Always right, but... great to talk to Reed Sorensen. The championship leader drives the Dollar General Chevrolet, the 32 car. NASCAR Nationwide Series uh, comes home in sixth position Saturday night at Chicagoland to claim that points lead. Chalk two points ahead of Elliott Sadler.